So we've got to show you this building. This is an incredible property. Look at this stunning place. Massive. Oh, this is we're passing. More of this property later. First, let's get over to the homestead. We've been away for quite some time. So good morning on the homestead. I've just woken up, so I'm a bit blear eyed. God, I slept in. Missed half the day. It's quarter past nine. And you can see here, last night I was just playing around with an idea. I'm going to make a modular. Everything's changed. If you've watched our other videos, all ideas have changed from a year ago when I broke my ankle and work on the land stopped. Um, now I'm going to build a modular kitchen that will be able to be moved, outside kitchen obviously, will be able to be moved wherever it fits, but it's probably going to sit on that terrace there with this lovely view across the other Kinters and uh, the mountain there. And so yeah, that's, that's what I've been pra playing around with. Um, over here, obviously I've been doing the blueberries. I love it when the the flowers are about to come out so I do not <sighs> strip it straight away I let some some of the flowers come through oh, so morning morning so first job of the morning thought I'd get rid of these brambles that are taking over this bank and coming into this terrace big old job try and pull up as much of the roots as I can and then Got some nice big roots there. This wasn't done last year, so it's uh, double the work this year. Yeah, I've been pruning the blueberries and weeding the blueberries. That's a massive task. So our kinta, unfortunately, has been neglected due to sort of unforeseen circumstances, and we haven't been here a lot. However, these beans I planted in November and they're coming on really well and they've just got some amazing insects are loving them and they're going really well and they'll be ready soon i think but as you can see there's a lot of weeding to be done and but i'll probably put in some kale in between these rows and then they can carry on growing once these because these will be finished in a month or so i think I love these huge bees. They're massive things. Beautiful. Lovely. So they're looking good. Now I need to go and rescue in this bed. The docks have become predominant, so I need to cut them back. But what I tend to do is cut them back and let them carry on growing and I just lay the leaves down and in here there are some cabbages, leeks and onions and garlic so I need to just find these things and control the docks a little bit here I'm really pleased that I found the cabbages you can see them if I come down a bit closer you can see them sticking up what I did is I just took out all of the uh, dock leaves oh a couple here actually I didn't do chuck them in and dock leaves are brilliant uh, they're oh, I can't remember the term something accumulators so they'll accumulate all sorts of nutrients deep down in the soil bring them back up in the leaves and then putting them back on obviously acts as a mulch but also as they break down they give a lot of those nutrients back to the soil so I've done that with the cabbages and then the uh, what have I got here yes that's right it, there aren't leeks here it's garlic and onions I've got in here so here I've been uh, so here I've been weeding the raspberries and getting them ready to produce lots of nice raspberries so that's good. They've come on really well. Again, never watered. And that is a good thing. We couldn't find the details 
for this property on the website. We did see it on the market a couple of years ago, and then it was around about 130,000 euros. Can't remember exactly. But this gives you another great example of the types of property available in this area. Get in touch with the vendor directly at Remax, and they will answer any questions. Incredible property. And look at this for a view. So it's, uh, right. Wow. It's got about 15 acres, I think. And look, you have this woodland around here. And it's really this woodland that goes down the side of the mountain. Uh, really nice, interesting sort of way it zigzags down. This path that zigzag down to a lake. And there's an actual lake there. I'll show pictures of that. The Momoa Barajem is fantastic. It's got a great river beach and loads of natural wild swimming spots all around it and brilliant walks too. So now you can see really big, lovely balcony coming out from those bedrooms. Um, I think one is a living room potentially. And then you've got that. So you get that side and then there's an amazing balcony on the other side. Again, These rooms here will have incredible views, which is brilliant. And then what I love is underneath, there's all of this incredible st whoops, storage space. Look. So you've got all this storage underneath for workshop storage, garage, parking, and there's the gates there. And all this uh, parking area here. So you've got all this practical area. And there you go. There's the other garage underneath the balcony there, the patio, with the other balconies and the other great views. It's really a nicely thought out place. And then here you've got your drive down to the sort of main gates. I think this is the uh, pump house. I think there's probably a bore, bore hole here that supplies the water. There we go, we get another view of the house there. And I didn't actually show you this, but here you're right near the, the village, um, out of village chapel or church. So there'll be events on here sometimes. Um, so great opportunities to maybe rent out rooms. This place is definitely getting more touristy. And interestingly, this place has no real, you know, nothing's been really done to the garden here. Now it's great in some ways because it means you've got a clean slate to put your own amazing stamp on the garden here to be which would be absolutely fabulous but it also means that's quite a lot of work but for someone who wants to set up a beautiful garden maybe this is the place but what i would do and i seriously lovely to do this here put in an infinity pool here so with that going across to that view out there across the Malcata nature reserve ma mountain range heading out towards Spain out there and um, obviously the other great thing about this place is you're very near to this amazing Barajem there's a river beach on the Barajem with cafe and all of that stuff going on activities and stuff you've got a lovely little village down there which which is really pretty and really friendly little village and there's cafes there. Then there's other river beaches within cycling distance of here as well. So you've got, you know, it is really well placed. Fabulous place. There's a, I think it's a sallow in the middle there. Not sure whether I'll leave that or not, but I'm leaving trees where they grow because they obviously like it there. Nice evening. Well, just beginning to evening, but the sun's going down and 
here, you can see this is a wild cherry. There's one there, just popped up. Didn't really know about it, one there. Then when you look around, there's one there. And one there. Another one there. Big one there. Another one there. Another one there. Another one there. Oh, Trotton one. There. Another one there. And this one has been around for a while. So suddenly we've got this little mini copse of wild cherries and they've grown here. They like it here. So let's make use of this. So I'm probably going to leave these and let them grow, control them and make a nice little shady area here. So I had a play with the poles to make our outside kitchen frame and yeah proof of concept that's what we've done a lot of work still to be done but the idea is there might extend it to have lots of processing area right near the top of our land and yeah so that's going to be continue to be built as a another project on the way and I will keep you updated of how this comes along. There's going to be a water tank up here that's going to be supplied by our irrigation system, ICB tanks into a water system, and then we'll use filters to filter the water to make sure it's drinkable. And then as that water runs down, there we go, we're going to have our, this is going to be, when I finish it, <laughs> Uh, there's going to be a shower in there and that water will supply the shower. So we've got some surprises coming up which we're going to test out. They could be game changing for a kinter like this but we'll tell you more about that in the future. Right, here's my little hall. Uh, so not a lot of this time of year I'm afraid um, because we have been out of the country a lot so not being able to get a lot but there is some greens and some leeks and one carrot i found one carrot in a group of carrots there's more <clears throat> so the carrots will should be ready to eat at some point in the future when they get a bit bigger 